All right, it's time to visit Slaptam. I know I've said this before, but there are very few things that are just terrifying just to think about. Insane asylums, like kids or ghost kids in the forest by themselves. Or being anywhere, like a school after it closes, a mall, and the forest. The forest at night is just terrifying alone. But you add, like, mythological creatures. It's crypto something. I know the study of it's cryptozoology. I forget what it's called, but things like that. And ghosts and, like, dilapidated, like, abandoned, falling apart houses. Well. No, thank you. But also, yes, thank you, because we are about to watch the most disturbing forest encounters caught on tape. This is Slapped Ham. So, before I get going, be sure to subscribe. Helps me out so much. Patreon is in the description down below. New uploads every Sunday. All right, what do you got for me this time, Callan? Some of the scariest videos. You're about to witness some of the scariest videos that are trending right now. Let's take a look. Doesn't do that. Hello? Belgian urbex YouTuber Siaz, known for exploring abandoned places across Europe, recently experienced a nightmarish adventure that's left both him and his viewers deeply unsettled. Typically, Siaz's videos feature the exploration of eerie forgotten structures. But this particular episode took an unexpected, terrifying turn. The video begins with Siaz and his friends venturing deep into a dense forest, filming their nighttime exploration. Oh, oh, that's that right. Okay. Like I said, being in the forest at night, quite clearly fall or very early spring. Put all the creepy stuff. Put the ghosts and the spirits and like your crypto creatures, Bigfoot, the Jersey Devil, whatever. Take all that away. There are bears, there are wolves, packs of wolves. There are coyotes, there are creatures in there, animals, that simply just don't want you there. Or they're looking for a meal. Because a lot of animals where a lot of animals, he said it was in Europe, right? I don't think it matters. Going into the woods at night is just a horrible idea. As they journey further into the woods, the group begins to hear something unnerving. See, that's... Yeah. Unnerving. Power Homeschool, the leader in providing online lessons to families homeschooling their children. What the f***? Oh. There's no auto or so, eh? Despite their growing apprehension. How about instead of turning your light off, you turn around and leave? What the f***? What the f***? Oh. There's no even auto or so, eh? Despite their growing apprehension, they press on, Fuck that. determined to uncover the source of the disturbing Fuck noises. That. Yep. Hello? No. Hello? However, their curiosity soon turns Hello. to terror. Watch what happens. Hello? What the f***? What the f***? What the f*** was hey. that? That was just a person on a bike. Was it not? Soon turns Hello. to terror. Watch what happens. Hello. What the f what the f hey. Hey. 
watching that again, a woman dressed in a nightgown holding an axe emerges from the darkness. She's tall, too. No, 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 no. Shocked and disoriented, the group flees in panic, unsure of what to do next. Hey. Leaving would be a good start. They quickly call the police, fearing for their safety. Yeah, I get it. Good auto with two letters. On the other side. Good, this is a good auto. Yeah, it's further, it's further. But I can't. I have to go to the after a tense wait in the pitch black forest, the police arrive and apprehend the woman. Yeah. Oh. The encounter with the authorities, however, does little to ease the group's nerves. Hey, as the officers question the woman, he has captures a moment of pure fear on camera. His hands trembling as he drinks from a bottle of water. Fortunately, no one was harmed during this harrowing incident, but the unsettling encounter left a lasting impact on Siaz and his friends. In the aftermath, as the boys regroup in their car, Siaz recounts the chilling image of the woman kneeling on the ground, surrounded by police, staring at him with a maniacal smile, as if straight out of a horror movie. The vlog continues. Okay, that's fine, but would like if you were in the woods, you don't want to encounter anything. But would you rather it be like a ghost or spirit or a crazy person? She was very tall, too. A spirit. Honestly, I would rather a ghost than a seven foot tall screaming woman with a lantern running at you with an axe. You would never be right ever again. This with Siaz reflecting on the experience from the safety of his home. He revisits the footage, noting that the woman can be heard shouting threats, warning them to stay out of her woods or face deadly consequences. That's legit what she has gerupen, but I have the half on beeld. So you hear me, I'm Siaz also reveals that the woman had approached their car, removed their license plate and hid it, seemingly with the intent of luring them back into the darkness where she could ambush them. Once again, it's super... How do you remove a license plate without a screwdriver? Lucky that no one was harmed during this harrowing incident. Hello. What the f***? What the f***? Hey! This place is like super duper creep town, right? Do you love freaky and strange little clips in your feed? Then you'll love our brand new channel, Slaptam Shorts. We post mysterious little clips there every single day. So head on over, hit subscribe, turn on channel notifications. There's links in the description box down below there. It's also pinned in the comments. Alex, the videographer behind the popular TikTok account Kamina de Patagonia, is known for capturing breathtaking scenes of nature and wildlife across South America. However, on May 12, 2020, while filming a mountain bike session in the remote mountains of Patagonia, Alex stumbled upon something deeply unsettling. Take a look. Yeah, this would be... 
Why? There's a strange figure hanging from a tree. It's a worker. Is that not a is that not a tool belt? The unsettling discovery left Alex rattled, unsure of what he had encountered. To this day, Alex remains baffled by what he caught on camera. Theories abound from the possibility of a creepy doll placed in the tree to scare off hikers, to a more disturbing scenario involving an unhinged local or even a robber lying in wait for an unsuspecting passerby. Well, if that's someone lying in wait, you're not really that well hidden. But that's just... I don't know, I think that might be a tool belt, but... Despite the mystery, the footage has left a lasting impression on both Alex and his viewers, serving as a chilling reminder that even the most beautiful landscapes can hide dark secrets. Okay. It's just a dude in a tree. Meandering up this way in the evening. Novice Wild Camper, an up-and-coming YouTube channel dedicated to wilderness camping in the UK, has posted a series of videos that have left viewers unnerved. In the first video, the camper sets up a hammock deep in a quiet, secluded forest. God, I love hammocks. As night falls, the peaceful surroundings quickly turn unsettling. <laughs> The serenity of the woods is broken by strange, unidentifiable noises. This game, you're not ready for it. Cool. I'm fully starting to believe that The Blair Witch wasn't a movie. It was a documentary. Because how can it not be? How can that movie have been out for 26 years now? Yeah, 26 years now. And you hear shit like that and be like, I'll stay, whatever. I, I like it, yeah. The camper, visibly uneasy, See? attempts yeah. to investigate the source of these disturbances, but finds no explanation. That's one of the creatures and uh, animals running around. Yeah. And uh, twigs on the floor. So or Ellie Tedward could go either way. There's a huge amount of noises around here. I've picked a uh, chestnut tree wood, so there are chestnuts crashing around constantly. Sounds like Bigfoot's throwing rocks at the hammock. As the night progresses, the situation becomes more alarming. A rock is suddenly thrown near the hammock. Suddenly by my hammock, a massive, massive thud hits the ground uh, and bounces. And I jumped up, unzipped it, put my torch on, and there's a rock on the floor that wasn't there when I went to bed. And later, a large branch crashes down nearby. This doesn't land coming down. It bounces towards me. It hit the floor and was still rolling towards me. Please. This place is freaked out. Yeah. With these nerves frayed, the camper hastily packs up and leaves the area, vowing to never return. After spending the night in his car, the YouTuber says he spotted a man on the side of the road. Listen as he recalls the eerie conversation he had with this strange man. And there's a man just walking down the road by me, and he saw me and he went, all right. And I was like, all right. And he went, uh, you been camping in the woods? I said, yeah, I was just a little hammock camp. And he says, you went, you're brave. 
I said, why is that? And he went, people have done it before, no one's lasted. I said, what do you mean? And he just laughed and he went, you know what I mean. I walked off. Despite his vow to never return to these woods, he the returned. story doesn't end there. After several months and a flood of comments from his followers urging him to revisit the site, the camper reluctantly decided to return, this time armed with more advanced equipment, infrared cameras and motion detectors. In the highly anticipated part two, the YouTuber bravely ventures back into the same forest. Flames Creed quilt. As he sets up camp and the night falls, the familiar unsettling noises begin once again. Switch off for a second. It could, it could just be someone walking a dog or something down the main track. But that was close. Yeah, that determined. That was the wall. Determined to uncover the truth, he starts filming with his new infrared camera. And what he captures is nothing short of terrifying. Oh boy. Nothing around there. Fuck that. Fuck is that? Nope. Mr. Handprints. There's fresh handprints on a nearby tree. Handprints that weren't there just minutes before. I swear that wasn't there. There's two. The discovery leaves both the camper and his viewers questioning what exactly is happening in these woods. Is it the work of a prankster, an unknown creature, or something even more sinister? The mystery remains unsolved, but one thing's clear. These woods are far from ordinary. Yeah. There's two handprints. I didn't know what to expect oh, from Janthier. A lot of bones in the dirt. A lot of ads on this video. TikTok user Briscoe Park, a content creator renowned for exploring abandoned and eerie locations across the United States, recently shared a chilling experience. In this episode, Briscoe Park ventures deep into a remote swamp, far from civilization. As he paddles his canoe through the dark, murky waters, an unexpected and unsettling sound fills the night air. According to the user, he was miles away from the nearest town, leaving him with no logical explanation for the sounds. Do you want to run into the Wyatt family? Because that's how you run into the Wyatt family. Time to go. The video has quickly gone viral with viewers speculating about the origins of the mysterious bells. Could it be a ghostly remnant from a forgotten settlement, or perhaps something even more otherworldly? Whatever the source, this haunting encounter is sure to stick with both Briscoe Park and his audience it's for a very long time. Is it not? I thought it was. Alright guys, we were walking through the woods and right in the middle of this trail we found this pipe. The YouTube channel Action Adventure Twins, run by a pair of identical twins known for exploring remote and dangerous locations, recently uploaded an episode that's left their viewers spooked. In this adventure, the twins are hiking through a dense forest when they stumble upon a mysterious pipe that seems to descend deep underground. 
Holy crap, guys, check this out. We're back at the mystery pipe. We hear water down there too. There's like a whole river down there or something. Maybe it's a cave. Their curiosity peaked. The brothers decide to lower a GoPro down the pipe to see where it might lead. Oh. I don't know, let's uh we got a brighter flashlight. Let's see what You're we can not see. gonna like what you find. Alright. As the camera descends deeper into the darkness, it eventually opens up into a large underground cave network. However, it isn't the visuals that left the twins and their viewers unsettled. It's the sounds. Take a listen. The camera's microphone picks up eerie, unexplainable noises. Sounds like heavy breathing, as if someone or someone picks up eerie, unexplainable noises. Sounds like right. heavy breathing, as if someone or some eerie. The camera's microphone picks up eerie, unexplainable noises. Sounds like heavy breathing. As if I what? I hear clicking. I don't. Sounds like heavy breathing. As if someone or something is lurking in the pitch black darkness. The unsettling sounds continue, growing more and more disturbing as the camera remains at the cave's floor. Hold the camera up then. Eventually, the twins quickly reel the camera back up, unaware of what they've just captured. It wasn't until they reviewed the footage while editing the video that they realised the full extent of what they had recorded. To this day, no one's been able to identify the source of those chilling sounds. Could it be an animal deep within the cave, or something more mysterious? The episode has sparked endless speculation among followers, leaving everyone wondering what truly lies hidden in that underground cavern. Okay, if you hear breathing on that, can you let me know? Because I heard water and I heard clicking. Probably water hitting the rocks, but I didn't hear... I didn't hear anything. Coming up in our last segment in just a few seconds, we take a listen to some truly eerie audio captured deep in the wilderness of New Brunswick, Eastern Canada. But before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our freaky and awesome content. Do it. Introducing Power Homeschool, the official provider of online Acellus courses for parents independently Our final clip of the day comes from Reddit user Extra Dimension 276 who shared a chilling piece of footage captured while camping deep in the wilderness of New Brunswick, Eastern Canada in early 2024. The user was enjoying the tranquility of the woods when they heard an unusual noise. It started with the alarm call of a polluted woodpecker, a common bird in the area, but what followed was anything but ordinary. Take a listen. What the f was that? I heard some shit there. Eh? 
the sound was unlike anything the user had ever heard before. They noted that it didn't match the calls of familiar wildlife such as lynxes or other known predators in the region. Despite their efforts to identify the source, the exact animal behind the growl remains a mystery. The sound was so intense it seemed to vibrate at a frequency too low for the microphone to fully capture. Could this be an undiscovered creature, or perhaps a rare elusive animal rarely heard in the wild? Whatever the case, this footage has sparked much speculation among those who have watched it leaving everyone to wonder what lurks in the remote wilderness of New Brunswick. Well, here you are. Well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more of our stuff, there's two links right there. Now, remember to follow us on all our socials. All the links are in the description box below there. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <gasps> that, all of that right there. Be it Bigfoot, be it ghosts, spirits, or animals. That's why you do not mess with the woods. No, thank you. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go watch the Care Bears now. So, for now, that's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Later.